Travis Walker and I like to say I'm a race car driver. I've raced for uh, Kansai and which is now Compass 260. Well I started go-karting like every great race car driver and uh, when I was 10, I think 10 and just moved up in the ranks and uh, started racing cars at the age of 17. Uh, I got a, an 03 RSX Type S and it's got Skunk 2 uh, suspension on a Pro Series and I uh, got an exhaust and this intake, just little things to keep me, uh, keep the money in. I always put the money into my car, any type of money I make. You know, it's always fun just even though I take out like fully modified race cars and uh, cars with you know, 200 to 700 horsepower cars. It's always fun just taking your street car out there and just having fun. Well, like this going into my fourth year of racing car, so I haven't had a, tons of experience in all the cars I've driven, but I've driven uh, the Mitsubishi Evo, uh, RSX, TSX, uh, probably tomorrow the Civic, so that's gonna be fun. And uh, also driven a Ford Mustang. Well, just, you know, racing in uh, the Grand Am Cup Series, been getting my name out to many other teams that have been interested in me and what I deliver as a driver. And I raced for a team for a couple races that ran a Mustang in the GS class. So that was a good experience, you know, getting, experiencing with different cars and everything. And um, knowing Dave Pratt, from uh, from magazines, he used to take some pictures for me, and I also know his friend uh, Turtle, who's a mechanic on the race team, and so I got to run their Civic for a bit, and I did really well in the Time Attack. And a team that ran an Evo in the higher classes asked me to uh, do one race with them, and that was that was a lot of fun. Well, Time Attack is just balls to the wall, <laughs> you know, just uh, go out there and go as fast as you can, as hard as you can, and push it to the limits where. My discipline is mostly endurance racing where it, you have to drive fast but conservative so you got to find the happy medium so it's a little bit, you're still driving very very hard but there's a point where you're driving hard and conserving equipment and driving hard and just trying to squeeze those extra two, three tenths out of the car. And which one do you prefer? Well, balls to the wall of course, going as fast as you can is a lot better and a lot more fun but you know, I also like endurance racing too because it shows a real skill in a race car driver who can drive fast and also conserve equipment. Uh, more open wheel stuff. I haven't done a lot of open wheel. I, I've always been interested in imports and turn, uh, tuner cars, and uh, but I haven't really driven any open wheel cars. I like to drive maybe like Formula BMW or Star Master car and see what the difference is and just, you know, also learning and growing my skills as a driver. Well, to find, uh, get some information on a regional uh, track, see where it, what track's closer to you. Usually every track has their own little event or series and uh, just going around meeting with teams. Like you go to a racetrack and you're a spectator. All the teams are very friendly, very open. You can go up right to them. Most of them own their own performance shops. So they're always looking for new customers and this is a way of networking for themselves. And you just go up to them, ask them like a little information, what you really want and just maybe a, a weekend or maybe a year. And then you have to go by getting your race license and everything, which is very easy. A lot of people think like you need a race license for your race car driver is at heart. It's actually harder to get your street license than it is to be a race car driver. You just gotta show like that you're responsible, mature, and that you have some skill of going fast.